Welcome back. Much like my hair, Hikadashi is wild and untamed and slowly and irretrievably being broken down due to stress. Which could only mean one thing. It's going to be incredibly enjoyable for us to watch. And with quite a lot of time and effort being placed into really the build-up into the big plan why this is going down, the fact of these parasites being the main strive of scientific research, the villagers and their safety really come second. No, nope. more like 28th place in the list of things that are really important here. But whether or not she will manage to obtain her justice and revenge on those that mocked her grandfather's research, we'll have to find out. But is there going to be a change for the better? Is Hanyu going to be able to stand up and lead the charge amongst everyone else that is fighting back against fate? Let's find out by watching the episode. Strap in, get yourself a drink. We might need it. Let's begin. The final piece. So is our chess set going to be finally complete? Although, unlike the uh, the pieces on a chessboard, each one of them holding such a significance that without one another, the entire thing will come crumbling down. No such thing as sacrificing a knight in this game. And considering that it is going all around with the, well, not all around with the timeline, but at least starting back and then working forward once again, is this leading into a new story that we have yet to see? Small changes and iterations that are almost imperceptible leading into a new future? Or, one of the pathways that we've already seen and suffered through. And how long before the opening changes again, something else is put in. So vacation homes. They've chosen the perfect village for it. They'll never want to leave. Ichiro. So another photographer that is enjoying the scenery. One that we are being obfuscated of his face, but Hanyu actually having much more than just a shadowy, shadowy presence. It's looking up, up, up. Sadako still struggling in this one. She was, ah, still back a few years. even though she is hiding behind a curtain at the minute. Are we going to learn the secrets of his, of his disappearance here? I really hope that a certain nurse didn't get hold of him. And therefore her standing, her family name is a danger in itself.
had to be part of the crew. So it's a nice plan, but... Huh. Give her some little extra time away from all of it. Then we'll just, yeah, keep her safe, keep her clean, try and keep her happy. I like that we are seeing, you know, we, we knew about their, their club and games and whatnot, but it had this as its origin point. It wasn't just wanting to play around and have fun. It was a, a club with such a uh, future and safety at its heart. This might become as a little bit of, oh, not a little bit of a surprise, a job. That was a sudden changeover, which I didn't expect. What's the... <sighs> the symptoms that we know all too well now, but also the stress of her mother going through doing all of that and being pulled away from her father. You see why her symptoms kind of flared a little. And being away from the village didn't help. But is this a... <laughs> it's always behind you. Is this another a moment that can never be changed? Like it's a canon event that needs to occur. Her, was it smashing up all the windows? Not too deep there. Oh yeah, her belief, her fervent belief in the curse and whatnot. Probably actually what got her through some of it. That's the one. Much more relaxing than the city. Well, no, you'd hope it to be the case, but this one is a little different. I mean, close enough. You didn't need to correct her. She's going to ingratiate herself with the, the village, change herself a little. Don't need to live by the past. Yeah, why not go all out? Why not just really relieve your name of a single letter or syllable? The telltale heart Constantly beating behind them. And if, you know, they're always conscious that something's behind them watching them, if Hanyu is actually you know, not just this spirit and actually perceptible, would that make it less paranoid?
something that she may relate to slightly and understand. And having someone that has gone through it and can rel you can relate to them, would that help you know, take down the, the, the symptoms and severity? If someone who listens to you and believes you. He doesn't have the time. And he'll be working hard for that stuffed animal. Well, you don't know what he's willing to do for her. Souvenir, you know, da damn it, taking what I was going to joke about, just to get a bit of practice in. So the curse, yeah, strikes once more. I know that he is very and at school. He is very Did he call him for help to carrying it back or just a chance encounter? Yeah, no, he he's been working hard. Did, did we ever see her with that bear? You would have thought that it was a major thing. Absolutely nobody. Hmm. Yeah, assuage some of his worries. Calm him down a little. That would confirm it, yeah. There is very little chance she might come back, you know, other than zombies and doppelgangers. They're, that's just a similar hairstyle. Uh-oh. The paranoia is rampant. He's in the final throes of it. Focus on your sister and her... Which means that if they look like her, they, he might act like her. No. Okay. He's going off the deep end. It is. Taking hold amazingly. So. Does he? Huh. Is this what he usually would take the money and just leave? And you know, it wouldn't exactly help if he is in the throes of the the parasite and the symptoms, but. He has to pay a lot of attention to the road, so we can't, you know, stop his hands, get away from his, get him away from his throat. F 
focus on the bear. Put him straight into urgent care. As long ah, crap. I was going to say, as long as she doesn't find out, all might be well. Having a goal, you know, saving up to get the bear for his sister. You being able to you know, stave off. Stave off the symptoms itself just by willpower of you know, having something to work towards and a, a way to overcome it like that. Great. Is he looking for a holiday home? But actually seeing them run so carefree through the fields like that. Get away from the humdrums of the city life. More freeing atmosphere of the the village. What a uh, simile that was. Yeah, think of it like a, a dike in a swamp. Take as a hunch. Some serious questions that are gonna be They pulled a Batman. Just as soon as they're out of the peripheral vision, gone. But I do like yeah, having characters like like that crop up. Are we seeing more of them? Because even the extras and the family members that we don't really have much time with otherwise are integral to this story. They're they're goings about in this world. However, with the incidents each year, you need to shake things up and bring people in. <laughs> huh. Is this all secretly just for her granddaughter there? Such a doting member of the family. Then everything will become stagnant. Stick around for too long, stay stuck in the same routine, you'll fester. Your thoughts and feelings will get get on top of you. Yeah, we need to stretch out and do something a little different once in a while. It might sound trite, but yeah, even just a walk outside in the fresh air does do wonders, especially for me. When things got a bit too tough, just to step outside for a moment. 
some worries at least get stripped away. And in a village like this with the parasites needed more than ever. Now, why would she go to such lengths? Unless it can be put to bed, it will just filter down. Despite their standings and everything, the Sonosaki family not being all powerful. Her acknowledging that there are things that even she can't handle. And with the appearance of Maibara, Keiji coming in like a hurricane, not just a brisk breeze. Hmm. She's going to keep up the appearance just a little longer, let everyone else break out, especially Mion. And having that moment of more actual humanity side of uh, the old woman, having it act like a, a, a grandmother who cares for her family, not just the head of the the, the household, the name that, well, the one who has to stay firm and tough the entire time, allowing it to break into a smile, even. Not everyone is this black and white character they can just tie down. But if Hanyu is there, helping out with the conversations, how is that going to, maybe not change events, but perspectives a little? Will that bring anyone in out the, uh, you know, when they're out, out, out of their depth? You know, be on your best behaviour, just because it's not the schools he's used to. On loan from the forestry service. Huh. Is he used to having all the years kind of shoved together? So the dad's interest and maybe a little confusion in why they knew his name. What's of the apprehension almost on his face? Ah, there's a faded Hanyu. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Keishi being this ace, this catalyst for it all changing, sure, but it, everything so far required all of them to come out of their own shells slightly. Can they... Hmm. It's been mentioned, it's been pulled up. Now it's for her to actually make good, be that strength. But seeing Satoshi go fully under, you know, 
he might have been touched by the the curse, and that was probably why he took the drastic measures of how to deal with the aunt. But pulling through of that all, holding himself together until he got the bear. Does that give rise to another you know, avenue of research in? If a strong enough will is enough to overcome the presence of the maggots in your blood. Well, I'll be screwed. I do hope that further on from here we will see maybe that Satoshi is okay. Takano didn't have her own have her way with it. Did uh, Irie manage to keep him safe considering, you know, he was much needed part of the baseball team. But go, struggling, going off the deep end like this, being carried inside the clinic. I can only see like one or two ways it's could have gone. Unless, well, why didn't why wouldn't he have said anything if he did manage to get him out and have proper care taken what of him? We know that they can lessen the effects of level 5 once they've reached that stage. So maybe long-term observation of a full-blown case. Can you whack that pasta? I'm just hoping for less, you know, vivisection, less uh, live autopsies. But I do like how he, my uh, Keiji's dad, come came down, maybe just exploring the village slightly, having that, you know, Chekhov's gun put in the place. Well, it's not a Chekhov's gun. Just the thing put in the place at the beginning. The holiday home. Oh, welcome! Come see our wonderful village. And for them to put it into place in his mind, you know, this place is really nice. You could offer it a lot, and it can repay you in kind. Why not? You know, take a chance. And that led to bringing KG on board. Does that mean there were times where Rika had to go through all of this without the extra muscle of KG? How did that any of those uh, those runs play out? Probably it went to shit a lot quicker. I'm wondering what did happen with the giant stuffed uh, stuffed teddy bear? Did it ever make its way over to Sadako? Am I completely blanking on its relevance and importance in the story? Was it taken with Stoshi wherever he ended up? But yeah, it would make a lovely present. Not sure where I'd keep a massive bear like that, though. But if you would like something equally as good, come back for more anime. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. This channel needs as much help as it can possibly get. I'm not quite at you know, stage 5 infection just yet, but we're rapidly approaching it. If you want to help calm my symptoms, maybe join to my Discord as well. But for now, Get yourselves your own bit of rest. I hope someone's there for you when you need it. And I'll see you in the next one. Each and every day I'm grateful for my patrons, because although I don't get a big stuffed cuddly bear, my channel is more than supported thanks to each and every one of you. So, I do need to thank Sal, Guado, Kite, Wolfie Sensei and everyone else. For if it wasn't for you... I would be in this all alone. Still watching anime, just nowhere near as fun.